Hello. Um, it's going to wait just a minute, just to make sure everybody is able to join. Um, okay, and Sayed, I'm, I'm good to present, eh? Oh, yes. <laughs> Thank you. All right, hello, everyone. Um, welcome to the OCDSB. Um, this presentation is on uh, Specialist High Skills Major. It's a, a group of programs, actually, that I'm going to be telling you about in just a second. Um, what, what is Specialist High Skills Major? Uh, SHISM, as we call it. It's for students to focus on a career path that makes their skills, interests, talents, while earning their own Ontario Secondary School Diploma with a specialist designation. So the diploma isn't just uh, any old diploma. It's not just a regular uh, high school diploma. It's actually a specialist diploma that's recognized by colleges, uh, recognized by the ministry, recognized by uh, a lot of groups. Um, so you can already see here, you can see some, some of the different variations of schisms we have um, learning and participating in actual work events. Um, for example, we have some of the for, for some of the forestry stuff, uh, food, arts and culture, and uh, a, uh, as well as the uh, fitness. Uh, so what is the benefit of Shizen program? It's a way of meeting students' individual le learning needs and styles and interests. It allows students to customize their high school experience, allows students to focus their learning on special sectors, allows students to make direct authentic learning connections with industries and community partners. So um, what I mean by a way of meeting students individual learning styles and interests, it's it's very hands on. A lot of the learning is is uh, what we call uh, experiential learning, where students are, are, are doing. Um, they're not just sitting in a classroom. Um, they're actually participating and, and, and usually creating as well. So it also allows students to customize their high school experience, especially if they, they know what they want to do or uh, if they're especially interested in something. Um, so just the, the interest uh, alone uh, is usually pretty enticing for students. So like I said, it's what's in it for the student. It's There's a diploma with a specialist designation. Um, industry recognized certifications. So uh, what I mean by that is uh, certifications that they can use in the workplace. So, um, you know, first aid to WMIS training to, um, we have uh, even different uh, food regulation trainings to uh, forestry, like there's so many, it just depended and I'll be talking about the different variations of schisms in just a second that uh, are all across our school board. <clears throat> Uh, so it's a uh, relevant skill development through experiential learning, like I had mentioned, uh, and industry community partners. So co-op experiences. Our co-op experiences are usually um, uh, they have to be industry specific to what the students are doing. Um, so, for example, here uh, the uh, the image we see of uh, the student working there that was a project between um, Deseres and a organization that does a laundry service uh, for the community where it's it's very, doesn't cost very much, they do the laundry for them, giving them more time with their families. It's a great organization, but the point is the students uh, designed it, came up with the ideas, uh, came up with ideas how to fundraise. They created a, uh, an, a learning center right in the mall for everyone to take place. Uh, they sold various things that they made. Anyways, that's just one of the schisms. I shouldn't be focusing on just one, I guess. Uh, sector partnership experiences. So again, that's uh, like we were, we're setting one up for an arts group right now that'll be doing um, learning about coding uh, robots to create different light shows with um, uh, at night while taking photography. So that's, that's the kind of so that or ice, which is a, a great leadership program. Um, so or I, I took a, a group recently to meet six engineers from across Ontario, uh, where they got to uh, learn about um, transit engineering. Um, and they took part in a, in a really cool uh, experience there. So I'll uh, maybe get into that later, um, which we have. We have uh, uh, relevant chisms for that, of course. Um, identify, explore, and refine career goals. Um, so it's, it's workplace, uh, well, not just co-op too but it's, uh, it really helps them focus on the things that, that they're interested in. Um, and 
And often we're going to see here. Um, oh, actually, before I get to that, uh, we also have there's also specific funding for things like extra technology. So a lot of our courses are specialized. Uh, for example, if you think of um, if you've ever heard of uh, Cougar Vision out of Colonel Bai, that's a, a uh, broadcasting program where they're creating a, a video every single day for the morning announcements, placements in places like Rogers Television and, and other places like that. So that's just one um, that we have. So different funding, they receive uh, special some special items. So just this year, for example, we put one Alienware high-end laptop and we chose that because it's mobile and the students uh, can pretty much do anything because we have students doing 3D printing, uh, manufacturing, um, some high-end things, animation, some high-end things that need uh, a higher-end machine to do that can be movable. Uh, Dremel 3D printers, so that's 3D printing, so every system that wanted one got one. Uh, Cricut machines, so that's design-based. Uh, I am a former graphic designer um, and this would have put uh, me out of work for a lot of stuff. It's cutting paper. It's uh, it's all vector based. It's really cool. Um, podcast equipment so for anyone who needed it. Green screen, micro bits, and Raspberry Pis. We have we have some programs <clears throat> that are uh, coding heavy. Um, and a, what's really cool about them is some of them are building their own um, Raspberry Pi. We can see actually down there on the bottom there, Raspberry Pi computers. That's one of them that the students are building. Um, and they had to program them and everything, OS. Um, uh, also, VR is the next thing to come for us, too. So we're working on that. Uh, we, we bring in VR right now uh, for things like virtual reality welding and safety. So if uh, working at heights, so students can get a feeling of that before they actually go. So it's, it's, uh, it's pretty neat. Um, just to show you, uh, the funding for this program is solid. Uh, and we're just moving forward with more and more programs. It also shows that the completion rate is usually high. If students are taking a schism, odds are they're gonna, their graduation rate is higher. And even, even if they don't graduate the schism, they still uh, have a higher uh, rate of, of average of uh, graduation. So uh, schism programs here in the OCDSB, over 800 students are participating in 49 different programs in 24 schools across our board with 13 economic sectors, which I'll talk about in a second. Uh, these represent 10% footprint of grade 11 and 12 students. Um, I, I wanna get into this stuff, but <laughs> again, to more interesting things like the types of schisms. So we have arts and culture, um, which range from uh, ones focusing on environmental art to ones focusing more on um, animation um, and things like that, manufacturing, uh, I was just at one where they're they're uh, building, they design their own little metal keychains, and uh, uh, it's it's unbelievable they're, <laughs> what they're doing with metal. Uh, horticulture, landscaping, uh, environment, construction. So you can the if you want a job right away and right out right out of the bat, getting a real world experience. And some some of our our, our construction classes are even happen in the school where, where they're building in the school too. But uh, hands-on experiences um, uh, on, on many, many job sites, health and wellness, hospitality and tourism. Um, uh, we just sent out a, a class just this week on a field trip to visit um, a chocolate store, I believe, yes, uh, and uh, visit some, some pretty fancy uh, restaurants in the area and get to learn about them and also have a meal together, which is, which is great uh, to uh, students going and, and participating and in, in, uh, um, anyways, I'll get into some of that other stuff. I got so many more schisms to talk about here. I have uh, business schisms, uh, nonprofits, uh, sports schisms, transportation is, uh, is, is really booming right now, uh, information and communication technology. So those are our broadcasting. We also have a um, one that's designed around at, uh, at, a, um, at Osgood where they're doing it's media production. So we're talking at a higher level where they're doing 3D, uh, they're creating their own 3D uh, games, they're doing animation, they're doing, uh, it's, it's preparation for, for post-secondary where you might wanna go into a field where you're, um, you're using artistic skills at a pretty high level. Um, a lot of these kids go on to 
the industry or um, at least successful even. Um, uh, anyways, a lot of those, I've had, I've had a lot of those students myself uh, from this area. This is one of the fields I used to teach. Uh, Justice Community Service uh, Emergency Services uh, is uh, where we're talking about uh, um, firemen, we're talking uh, ambulance services, uh, uh, doctors, nurses, uh, and again, they're learning relevant certifications and, um, and a lot of uh, um, uh, on-the-job site training as well, which is, which is great. So what is it? It's essentially a bundle of credits, eight to 10 credits that, have to, that are relevant to what they're taking, certification and trading programs. Um, actually, I'll, I'll get to that in a second. The bundle of credits are they, they, they do vary on the schism, but you can kind of see here, uh, they, it explores all pathways. So workplace, apprenticeship, college, university, all areas have to be able to come, come through that way. Um, experiential learning and career exploration. So uh, planned activities, we're talking field trip, guest speakers, job shadowing, work experience, um, activities that match students' goals and interests, and increase students' awareness of development of the 21st century uh, competencies and work habits from sectors. Uh, reach ahead experiences, so opportunities for students to experience their selected post-secondary pathway. This may include uh, auditing a college or university class, lecture specific to schism sectors, so we have students working in, in colleges and universities right now, um, attending uh, campus tours of industrial centers, uh, uh, sorry, the uh, industrial center, um, those are quite common. In interviewing a skilled tradesperson, participating in or uh, visiting skills competitions, or setting up a big one in uh, in um, in May, uh, where we'll be showcasing a lot of stuff at the uh, EY Center. A lot of our student work, and uh, that's gonna be pretty exciting. Uh, so attending conferences and events. Uh, I just I sent off early this summer just to. to uh, an arts culture to the Comic Con, where they got to participate in some amazing panels of uh, learning specific ways to do uh, to do art that you're not going to get anywhere else, but right here in Ottawa and at, at, at that. Um, to uh, you know, going to Red Blacks and and learning about the uh, physical training that they have. Um, anyways, uh, a lot to offer. Um, Certifications and training programs. Uh, so mandatory ones are the students get, and these are all paid for with by Schism. Uh, first aid, CPR, uh, WMIS. Um, there's also additional programming, uh, working at heights, customer service training, uh, drive clean, smart serve, uh, all a lot of stuff just to, that's that's paid for, and they can even just get a job with them right away, like smart serve and and uh, the customer service training are all things that look fantastic on a resume. Um, and nobody says you have to go to post-secondary after with it, but either way, uh, you're, you're pretty closely trained with a lot of uh, our teachers who are red seal in, 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 and have relevant industry experience. Um, uh, a young teacher right now, right out of Sir Guy is, uh, is, is, has, is straight out of the field. She worked in the, um, in the film industry here in Ontario. So uh, it's, it's, it's uh, really exciting. Uh, sector partner experiences as well. Uh, these are uh, innovative creative uh, entrepreneurships. Uh, so ICE, uh, sector living coding and math. Um, so uh, like I said, we've sent out several uh, coding kits for, for a lot of classes, uh, even if it's not uh, a coding um, schism, uh, one that like a uh, ICT, which would be an information computer technology schism. Um, but uh, just for example, uh, some wanted uh, coding just for, for doing environmentalism, uh, where uh, they could create, um, uh, they, could use, they could program these, these devices to um, watch, um, watch plants, for example, um, when they need water and, and things like that. So a really interesting, uh, Things with uh, what's what's happening with our classes. Um, uh, here's my contact information. Um, I'm this is my first year on the job uh, on this job. Uh, I've been 
teaching with the board for uh, I think over 14 years. Um, I've worked at uh, I worked at Richmond High School for 10 plus uh, special education uh, for many years. Um, gone all across the board, uh, working different schools. Uh, so I've seen a lot of uh, amazing things uh, in our board, a lot of amazing uh, uh, work that our students are doing. Uh, and these programs are really exciting. Uh, seeing students say things like, I haven't had this much fun in school since ever <laughs> is, is pretty exciting to see and hear um, when, when, uh, when I'm visiting some of these classes. Um, and, and when I'm done this, uh, I, would, I would love to have my own schism <laughs> one day myself. Uh, um, but uh, this is my first year, and uh, I, hope, uh, I hope you think about this as an option. Um, and uh, take a look at our website, uh, most importantly, um, which I'll just back out of here, and I'll go to my Yeah, there we go. Uh, so if you check out our website, uh, which is just uh, ocdsb.ca slash schism, which I'll put it in so you can see it. Uh, it has all of our information. You can also sign up uh, to various schisms with our supplementary options sheet, which is actually just a, an online uh, enrollment. And you can, uh, you can actually cross boundary if you want to you can go to different schools you don't have to it doesn't have to be your home school so it's uh, worth checking out uh, i'm just going to get rid of this and um let's see uh yeah so another section i recommend checking out is uh the schism programs and location website uh, web page and here you can actually see if, uh, what you're interested in so, you know, if, if I was to click on information communication technology, uh, you see the school, uh, what its focus is. So broadcasting, uh, computer science at uh, West Carleton, um, these digital media and design at, at uh, OTSS, uh, that's a brand new one. Um, so uh, we're always building more and uh, we're also uh, looking for additional ones to be added. Uh, but let's see here, uh, let's see if I can think of another one. Yeah, uh, transportation, there we go. Let's take a look at that one. Um, so yeah, we have several automotive uh, vehicle component and design at Osgood. Um, they're all uh, excellent programs, well outfitted. Um, uh, which their, their shops are well outfitted and um, uh, yeah, if you contact the school, they'd be more than happy to give you more information uh, or feel free to contact myself. Oh, I found out I can look at questions. Great. <laughs> uh, can you do any schism at any school? If not, what? Okay, yeah, let's see here. Right, so like I said, you can, uh, you can go to another school. Um, you just have to apply online and uh, we have several students from different schools going to different schools to take uh, schisms of, of their interests. So like I said, it's, it's more it's it's more worth it for you to just click on the type of schism uh, to find out uh, more about it. Uh, and, and maybe there's one uh, already close to you. If it's in your school, you might already know about it. We have lots of banners out there. A lot of the things the students are doing are, are interesting. Uh, Canterbury's art program is a big part, has a big part of schism in it, um, of course, with this, our certifications and things like that. Um, in which grade can students apply? Great question. Uh, grade 11. Uh, grade, grade 11 is when we start. So, uh, but you can start inquiring right away with, with, the, with the teachers because that way they can start setting up with uh, a, a great pathway to get you going there. Um, can anybody do schism? Or if there is a limited number of students and a criteria, to get into a program. Um, I haven't seen I haven't seen too many limited limited ones. Um, we usually try to increase the number of sections to accommodate. Um, but uh, that's not something I would I would say is worth um, uh, being 
it's still worth applying and and, and finding out because uh, I haven't I haven't heard too many people being turned down for um, for the shizmas right now. Oh, any more questions? No, nope, not that right now. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, Sayed, uh, what, how long, how much longer do I have? Um, uh, you still have um, 40 minutes. Uh, 40 minutes? Yeah. Oh, uh, this is supposed to be a uh, 10 minute presentation. Okay, okay. I think the last of the part is for the Q&A if people have any questions. I think one question oh, okay. came up. Oh, great. Yeah. That's fine by me. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Uh, how is different than co-op? It's, it is co-op actually. Um, it's, it's an addition to co-op. So co-op is a comp component of schism. Uh, so they have to take co-op to, uh, to get uh, the final schism diploma. Um, so, uh, and not just that, usually if you're taking a schism, there are sometimes sp uh, spots usually kind of focused for schism students since they're being specialized in, in their training. Uh, can you do a history schism? Um, let me think if there are any history related. I don't think so. Uh, there are cultural related ones. The, uh, let's see here, if I go back to the nonprofit, for example, you can see we have uh, applied research and knowledge at Lisger, which is a really interesting one where they are doing research into uh, with um, the University of Ottawa um, and uh, I believe the government of, of, of Canada. So there's research, not quite history, but um, community international development, First Nations, Métis, Inuit leadership, uh, social justice. So yeah, uh, not not really for, for, for history, but um, yeah, you got me, that's one. <laughs> Oh, good question. Uh, is this incorporated into their schedule or extra time? <clears throat> there is uh, additional time. Just co-op in, its, in itself can be done uh, sometimes outside of school hours. Uh, but there's also several things like uh, certifications, uh, field trips that go out outside of class hours. Uh, I just sent one um, class to, uh, where are they going to? Oh, to Toronto for a conference. So that, that, that was an overnight stay. Uh, is this incorporated into their schedule over time? Yeah, great. The extra costs are covered by Schism. <laughs> so that's what the funding is for the ministry. Um, it's one of the larger budgets um, that we have too. So it's uh, that's how we're able to fund things like the certifications, the trips, uh, the additional uh, equipment, Great question. Thanks, Kim. And um, even if you're, uh, you're, you're, your child can still graduate, um, uh, even if they don't complete all the things from the, from the schism, they still get the benefit of, of the certifications, experiences. Um, but I mean, it's, it's, uh, it does look great on a resume. It looks great um, applying to universities and colleges to have a, a schism. Shows you did extra. Great comment only, great program. I'm gonna say that one out loud, thanks. <laughs> yeah, uh, it is a great program. Um, 
and it's uh, it's only growing. Um, and uh, we're looking to add a, a couple other schisms uh, next year too. Oh, that's it. Uh, is that, is it over now, Sayed? I think there are no more uh, questions, so let me check with the team. Oh, okay, I get it now. <laughs> Not used to using Zoom, I guess. We are a Google board. <laughs> I'm not sure if this is still live. I think it is. Um, if anybody has any questions, I'm happy to answer it. Uh, OK. Hi, everyone. Uh, this is my uh, second presentation. Um, so uh, this the Schism Specialist High Skills Major Program. My name is Curtis Vandalite, um, and I'm the I'm the coordinator for this program, uh, which I'm pretty excited to show you about. So, what is Schism? Uh, Schism is for students. Oh, well, students focus on a career path that matches their skills, interests, and talents while earning their Ontario Secondary School Diploma with a specialist designation. So that specialist designation is uh, well re well regarded. Um, in, in, uh, on transcripts and, and uh, when applying to colleges and universities. Um, and you can already see kind of around here, um, some of the things that students are, are actively doing in our schisms. Um, like the, uh, you can see over there, that's one of our environmental schisms, one of our cooking schisms, um, arts and culture there, you can see them working at, uh, on a, one of their new projects and uh, our, our sports schism. So just a few little, little some tidbits to, to show you which schism is. So uh, what is the benefits of the schism program? A way of meeting students' individual learning styles and interests, uh, allowing students to customize their high school experience, allowing students to focus their learning on sp specific sectors that they're interested in, uh, and allowing students to make direct and authentic connections with industry and community partners. So uh, right away, students are working with um, with partnerships uh, that we we've that these programs have, um, and you're going to see that in a second. I think it's it's better if I just show you. Uh, so what is what's in it for your for the student uh, diploma with specialist designation? Uh, so like I said, there uh, that's that's a special diploma that uh, that that is well regarded. Um, industry recognized certifications. So there are mandatory and there are. Um, uh, ones that students can also choose from. So we'll be going through that in a second. We're talking about WMIS. We're talking about uh, first aid to training for customer service to anyways, there's, there, there's so many certifications because there's so many schisms. Uh, relevant skill development through experiential learning. So they're doing, students are in a schism are, are less likely to be just pen and paper. They're more likely to be doing. Um, and actively learning, or if they're doing paperwork, then then there's a point to it. There's a uh, there's usually a, a project project based, um, which is awesome. Uh, so there's also our um, um, that the co-op experiences alone are are really amazing. So uh, if you're in schism, you're also in co-op. Uh, so for example, uh, we have. Some of these students uh, here, um, I believe they're from a Maryville High School's arts and culture program, working with the Sarahs uh, to create, uh, well, they work with them pretty much all year uh, with a resident artist that works there. 
a professional artist who has her own um, studio. And um, what they're doing is they're creating art for community services. Uh, the And I, I, I'm, I have an art background myself. I would have loved having the experience of learning from a, from an artist who's working. Um, that's just, again, that's just one schism. We're talking we got, we're about many, many schisms. Construction, you can see down here, um, uh, are, are if you, ready-made jobs, ready to go, uh, well-paying right here in the city. Um, and I mean, you could still, you could go, still go to university, do a schism in, in, in this and have a fantastic summer job or after school job. It's, it's, it's really quite broad what you can do with, with this, this program. Uh, I should also mention the sector partnerships, uh, and, um, and just the relation to their career goals alone are, are amazing. Uh, so I should also mention uh, Chisholm funding is 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 healthy, <laughs> thanks to the ministry. So our Chisholm uh, students, our Chisholm courses um, usually have, we're supplying them with additional things. That's what a Chisholm is. It's to give a program extra. So uh, for this year, for example, or this past year, they just arrived this year, I should say, uh, every school got an Alienware laptop. The reason for that, not for gaming, but because we have uh, the need for mobility with a high-end machine, because a lot of our teachers are doing um, a lot of our, um, I was going to say, um, right, um, we're, we're doing 3D design, we're doing vector-based work with uh, AutoCAD, um, and you're, you're, you're going to see a little bit of that in a second, but the need is for, the, for it to be able to move around. Uh, Dremel 3D printers, a lot of, so every, every site that needed one got one. Everyone that asked for one got one. Everyone that asked for multiple got multiple even. So uh, all of our SISM sites have 3D printers, uh, Dremel uh, 3D45, if you nerds are curious. Um, they're awesome. They were, they're the ones that were used by uh, University of Ottawa, if you've ever been to their center. Uh, that wall of 3D printers, uh, cricket machines, podcasting equipment, green screens, micro beds, VR gear. This is all stuff that we've uh, put in. I mean, we have people, we have uh, our Osgood program is literally making 3D VR games. So we need to get them equipment to, to show off that stuff. And we have other ones that need to use the VR uh, because they're doing uh, heights training. Heights trainings before you get up high, it's great to learn. With a headset, uh, it, it really does feel like you're high up. I've done it myself. Uh, to even like um, welding simulators, which uh, are a are, uh, huge hit, you wouldn't believe. Um, so uh, lots of extra stuff. Um, this is just to show you the fundings. It's been there for a long time. It's, it's, you don't have to worry about going away and it's only going up uh, it, because uh, it's been proven. It's been proven to be a successful program across Ontario. Uh, completion rates show students that take schisms have a higher rate of, of not just graduation, but graduating with a schism, um, which is, which uh, is, is uh, free. Everything's free. It's all paid for. Uh, I had a, a question earlier from, from a parent asking if, uh, what's the cost? None. It's all paid for. The trips are paid for. Um, the sweater is is that they that the students receive this is a student sweater um receive uh our pay like it's it's if they need work boots we're gonna get that for through OYAP for the student um it's a it's it's pretty amazing uh, over 800 students are participating in 49 programs in 24 schools in 13 economic sectors we'll talk which i'll talk about in a moment this represents a 10 percent footprint of grade 11 and 12 students uh i'm not gonna go on this stuff it's still boring but here is the stuff that's interesting the types of schisms we have, arts and culture, manufacturing, horticulture and landscaping, um, environmental construction, as you've seen a lot of photos of, health and wellness um, is, is, is a, a booming one right now, hospitality and tourism. Um, I just said to a class, um, hopefully I'm not telling the story again, uh, I've told this, 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 this uh, routine a couple of times, but uh, I uh, just sent a, a class off to go to Hummingbird Chocolate Factory, uh, Chocolate Factory, uh, to, to learn about uh, the making of chocolate. And then they went to a couple of fancy restaurants to learn about how they, they run their shop. And they got to even have a meal there too. So uh, again, all paid for. Um, 
uh, nonprofit schism, uh, sports schism, the business schism is really, we have about, I think three or four now, I think business schism is all amazing. Sports. So uh, those ones are really, really interesting. I, I just, I just saw one really neat one that's uh, where they're, um, they're working directly with our, um, uh, some of our students in the school uh, who are preparing for for Special Olympics. So figuring out exactly what those students need, uh, getting them motivating, helping them training, what great simulated training for being a trainer, uh, then working with with those. I, I, I've, I've, uh, it's my favorite thing to volunteer for is a Special Olympics. It, you'll never understand uh, quicker how, how value, valuable uh, just um, being kind and, and, and hard work is. So <laughs> uh, anyways, um, what was I saying? Nonprofit, uh, sports, transportation. So the automotive is fully, these are full shops ready to go. They're, they're, they have cars in there every other day. Uh, no, every day. They have cars in there every day. Uh, multiple vehicles going in and out, learning different things. The call placements are, are right on, on, on the nose. Uh, information communication technology. So, uh, like I said, we have um, many uh, across the board. We have, uh, for example, one of the more well-known ones is uh, Cougar Vision uh, for Colonel By, which is their morning announcement radio, uh, not radio, television show that they produce. Uh, it's an amazing experience for them. And they also have lots of uh, co-op experiences, you know, with Rogers Television, um, uh, they're out there. They're they're out there in the uh, in the community working um, right now. Actually, they're creating a brand new project where they're going to be highlighting all these different schisms. That was that was this their idea, <laughs> not even mine. That you think it would be, would have been, but uh, also justice, community safety, and the emergency services um, is uh, so. We're, if your if your child is maybe interested in. Um, being uh, anything medical, really, anything medical to service, to fire, to uh, ambulance. Um, there's one, um, uh, there's, there's, there's several um, that uh, if you think about all the certifications they're getting, um, the co-op opportunities that, that are, are, are available to these students, um, you know, why, why wait for college? You could just jump in right now uh, they could be jumping in right now with co-op opportunities, relevant classroom experiences. Um, that's my thought. Uh, what is what, what is it? It's five components. So I'm just going to go over them really quick. It's a bundle of credits. Just to say, it's got to be relevant. They're they're relevant to uh, these classes are relevant to the courses, the schism itself, experiential learning and career exploration. So, uh, like I said, field trips, guest speakers. Um, I I know uh, Osgood was just telling me that they the uh, they, they're bringing in some. I think he had just had a couple of three D animators working in the field uh, that came in to talk to his class. Um, job shadowing and work experience is so fantastic. Uh, and like I said, you even if it's not what they want to do in post secondary, it's it's still it's whatever's going to get them excited about education, right? Um, and a fantastic certification in it too. Um, increased student awareness of just the fundamental components of, of work habits in, in school, uh, outside of school, I should say. Uh, reach ahead experiences. So we have students, our schism students are uh, taking courses relevant to their schism uh, at Algonquin, at, um, at the University of Ottawa, Carleton University. Um, so that's auditing classes to actually getting uh, class credit as well. So, uh, and that's all that's all based on their desires and, and how and what they want, what the student wants um, and the availability of these things um, to the course. Certifications and training programs are really exciting. Uh, so some of the defaults as in like students automatically get these things paid for, first aid, CPR level C, um, uh, women's training, additional certifications depending on the sector. Um, two to three optional certifications uh, are like uh, the smart serve. So that's just something just to get a job really, really quick when you turn 19. Smart serve, customer service training looks great on a resume. Uh, oh, I see a question. Great. 
Uh, can you repeat the presentation again? Oh, that was just my friend telling me. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, so sector partnership experiences, um, I kind of talked about that. Uh, these are um, a lot of leadership opportunities. Um, uh, the coding one, for example, I know we're setting up um, some of our art schisms uh, at night. They're going to be going to a, a workshop where they uh, take photography. They're, they're going to be coding little robots to move in certain directions, and they're going to try to photograph. They're going to try to take photos of that uh, with certain sh shutter speeds uh, to get really cool effects. Uh, they did that every other year, uh, except for COVID, unfortunately. But um, all these things are starting back up, and it's really exciting. Oh, let it go. Oh, that's why. There we go. Yeah, so um, that's the end of my presentation. Um, feel free to contact me um, uh, or the school about this particular schism. Um, what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to click on our, our website, just ocsb.ca slash schism. S H S M. Um, and if you check out our webpage, I highly recommend. Um, well, first of all, if you'd like to sign up for something um, to a schism, you can always go to our supplementary options sheet. It's really easy to use. Um, and this is cross boundary. You don't, if this program isn't at your school, you can go to another school uh, to attend there. Oops. Um. There we go. Um, so I'll press to here. Um, and the other one I really recommend is checking out the uh, Shizen Program Location website. Um, also, feel free to ask questions. Um, I can see them if you post them. Um, arts and culture business. Uh, and what's cool is you can actually click on this and um, it, it'll tell you more about which ones are available. So like I said, the we got uh, OT. Osgood's Exploring Behind the Scenes program, and it'll tell you a little bit more about it um, and, and what it offers. Take you to the school website as well. Um, transportation, if, if your child's interested in automotives, um, they're doing really uh, rel industry relevant things. Um, uh, horticulture and landscaping. Oh, I see a question. Is there a selection process to take up schism. Uh, the selection is your choice. That's what's kind of cool about this. Um, your, your child would go to uh, see their guidance counselor and ask. Um, hopefully they already know about the program. Um, but uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's uh, just asking the guidance counselor. Okay, um, Saeed, would this be a good time for me to restart my presentation? Uh, yes. Okay, thanks. Okay, I'm gonna head back here. I'm gonna restart my presentation. I can get <laughs> back underneath this. Uh, there we are. Okay, here we are. Okay, hi everyone. My name is uh, Curtis Vandalite. I'm uh, the uh, specialist high skills major. Uh, we call it Schism coordinator for the board, um, and I'm excited to tell you about it. Um, let's go through this. Uh, so, what is a uh, Schism? It's uh, students focus on a career path that matches their skills, interests, and talents while earning an Ontario secondary diploma with a specialist designation. So you can kind of see around here, there's just a few variations of the schisms. We have 13 sectors. So it's 13 different styles of schisms happening. Um, so we have like the environmental one here. You can see uh, one of our, our, our uh, foods and culinary students, um, arts and culture working with uh, um, uh, Deseras, I believe. Um, and uh, our, our sports schism, you can see over there doing some, some science work. Uh, so what is the benefit of a schism program? It's a way of meeting students' individual learning styles and interests. It allows students to customize their high school experience 
Uh, it also allows students to focus their learning on specific sectors, allows students to make direct and authentic connections with industry and community partners. Uh, so I think it's better if I just show you. Let me see. Uh, so what is it for a student? Number one, uh, a specialist designated diploma that is recognized uh, and, 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 um, and looks really good on a resume. It uh, looks really good on a, a diploma. Um, if applying to colleges and universities, um, it's, uh, we have industry recognized certifications. So we're talking about, um, uh, if it's, if you think about the relevancy, mo pretty much all of them have CPR, first aid training, um, uh, it, relevant ones that we have though, are like, um, uh, I believe some students just got their boat license of, for automotive, uh, to heights training, to, um, uh, there's just there's so many. Hopefully, I'll, I'll go through them as as we're going through this presentation. Uh, but relevant skill development through experiential learning with industry and community partners. So co-op. So that's a major component of Schism. Uh, co-op. Uh, students have to do uh, industry relevant co-op while doing their systems. Um, and those uh, are 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 you can see here. Uh, one is with. The Ceres, uh, this was done over the summer, where students um, worked with a resident artist uh, and learned skills uh, for for if if they wanted to be uh, an artist on their own. Even uh, it was it was really amazing what they're doing there, and they're creating artwork with the Ceres uh, for uh, to promote. Um, I believe it was called it was a community laundry association, which uh, gives. Um, I think it's like a dollar to two dollars and they'll do the laundry for the family so they don't have to you know they have more time with their families so a lot of different partnerships like this um are available uh and like i said uh career goals uh they're your the students uh who go enter things like construction are offered a job pretty quickly um and uh and um and with lots of good training so um What's different about Schism is we're we're funded well by the ministry, so uh, we are an extra. So we take a, a course that is that is uh, interesting uh, and hands on, and we give a little bit extra, a little bit extra. So some of these things this year we put out were uh, every school every school got a um, Alienware laptop, which is a very high end laptop. Um, meant for gaming, but the reason we got it was so that it could be mobile because there's a lot of 3D design happening, um, a lot of uh, high-end graphics that 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 you'll you'll be seeing as we're showing some of these other schisms um, to VR gear because we have one schism at Osgood that's doing um, students are creating their own 3D design games uh, VR simulated um, uh, microbit Raspberry Pi kits uh, we have. Uh, one schism that is that that that's what they're building right down there. Actually, if you could see here, uh, they're building their own computers, their own o entering their own OS systems, uh, and they're actually getting to keep those. So it's 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 really neat. Um, green screen broadcasting, all these things that were requested were received. They needed a three D printer, Dremel three D three D printer. We got them multiple ones. Um, so every class is pretty well outfitted. This is just to show you the, the funding isn't going to stop anytime soon. Uh, we've The funding has only increased for us. Um, completion rate, I wanted to show you this. The numbers, of course, uh, COVID weren't so uh, weren't so great. So they didn't, this is the first one, this is the last, this is the last data that we have for this. Uh, but you can see completion rates are high. I believe it only dropped about by 10% across the board. But uh, completion, students who do schisms usually have a higher graduation rate um, uh, and and they usually graduate with their schism uh, schism programs in the OCSB we have over 800 students currently participating that can grow substantially uh, and it, it has been growing in 49 programs in 24 schools 13 uh, economic sectors and we're adding more um, we're looking at three new schisms right now we're, we're, we're reviewing so this represents the 10 percent footprint um, actually, I'm just going to show you some of this stuff instead. The more interesting thing is what are the different uh, types of schisms that we have? We have arts and culture. Um, 
so there are different variations uh, and you, if you go to our website you can really see that and i'll show you that in a moment as well if you click on arts and culture it'll bring up uh we have an arts and culture that's focused on environmentalism we have another one that's focused on uh, performing arts um uh, manufacturing i just went and visited some amazing uh, uh metal work that's happening at uh, I think it was Earl of March's uh, manufacturing schism. Uh, and uh, again, relevant experience. Uh, I also just visited very close by um, uh, manufacturing, um, some manufacturing hubs around there that are, they're looking to hire directly out of school. Um, so construction, horticulture and landscaping, environmental, environment, uh, health and wellness, hospitality and tourism. I just, uh, sent a field trip of students um, off to, what was it, um, Hummingbird Chocolate, uh, where they learned how to make chocolate. Um, they, because uh, the students are making chocolate, I believe, in their classes. Uh, and then they went to some fancier restaurants in the area and learned how they operated and sat down and had a meal. And again, all paid for. This isn't an, an additional cost to you, the parent. This is, this is all paid for by ministry funds. Um, so hospitality, tourism, business, nonprofit. Um, I should also mention too, if, if, this, if your child needs work boots, they're paid for by OYAP. If your child needs uh, a hard hat, if your child needs, whatever your child needs to be at the site, it's paid for um, through usually OYAP or I can pay, we can pay it through it through system as well. Um, hospitality and tourism business, nonprofit, sports, transportation, that's, that's uh, mechanics um, and a whole lot more actually. Uh, information communication technology that's the one i was telling you about kernel by for example that has uh, their uh, cougar vision i'm not sure if i talked about that uh, which is uh, every, uh, a daily uh, broadcasting show that they uh, show that they broadcast out to the whole school also have co-op opportunities at places like rogers um and, and like i said we have some that are just based on coding and computers um it's quite broad. Uh, that was my field uh, before I, I came to the board. I was a information communications technology teacher. So these courses are 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 specialized. Um, justice, community safety, and emergency services. So if your child's interested in anything medical related, I would I would be highly I'd be definitely pointing them in this direction. Um, so even uh, remember, you should remember the every one of these schisms have four pathways. So, so that's college, university, that's apprenticeship, and that's workplace. So just so that, that, that's going from doctor, that's nursing, that's uh, ambulance services, that's fire. Uh, and they're, they're getting relevant certifications. They're getting, um, uh, they're getting relevant co-op opportunities. Uh, so, you know, why, why wait? Why not just, <laughs> just jump in feed first? Even if they don't like it, why not learn it? Why not learn if they don't like it? when it's all paid for in high school, right? Because uh, we all hear about the students that uh, drop out after a year and they're not, because it's just not what you like, or they just switch switch fields, which is fine, but uh, it's expensive these days, so it's good to try out first. Um, so what is uh, a schism? It's five components, really. It's a bundle of credits. Uh, so those credits are relevant to the schism. So um, you know, if you're in a, a foods schism, then your your you know your courses are going to be foods related. Um, so uh, we also have experiential learning and career exploration is a must. So our schisms are hands on. You don't normally see. It's not our courses aren't sit down with a pen and 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 writing kind of thing or even typing. Uh, it's got to be relevant. It's got to be. Um, it's got to be hands on. Um, so that includes field trips, guest speakers. I, I was, I was just hearing about Osgood who had a, a guest speaker come in from, um, uh, the, the world of 3d animation to, to talk to the class, um, job shadowing and work experience, um, activities match students, goals, and interests, and the increased students awareness of development of 21st century uh, competencies and work habits. Work habits uh, that a lot of our kids, let's be honest, uh, because of COVID, haven't had an opportunity to learn. This is a great chance for them to do it. Um, 
uh, and, and in a safe way, um, build up those social skills. <laughs> Um, reach ahead experiences. So we have students taking, uh, if you're in a schism, you can have some opportunities to take college and university credit courses um, or just auditing. Uh, we also do lots of trips there. Um, certification training and program. Um, so seven different sectors are, which are recognized. We have uh, there's about three to four mandatory that the student must take. So that's first aid, CPR. They, these are so, uh, sort of um, uh, the ones that they must take. Yeah, uh, WMIS, um, but it really depends on the sector that they're that they're in. Two to three optional certifications selected by SHISM programs, teachers. Uh, so it's things like working in heights, customer service training, drive clean, uh, and smart serve. These are all things that are going to help someone get a job right away. Um, let's see here. Oh, well, feel free to ask questions. Um, I'm just, uh, I'll stop and answer them as I'm doing it. Um, sector partnership experiences. So, uh, so that's our, 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 some of our innovative creative entrepreneurship uh, ICE that we have, uh, which is sort of a, also a bit of a leadership program. Um, we have sector delivered coding so uh, and math. So that means they're doing special uh, events Usually, where they're they're learning about coding, even though they're not involved in in that uh, that area. So, for example, we're taking some arts and culture students um, out to uh, the woods, where they're going to be photographing uh, a night sky, um, and also robots that they're going to be programming ahead of time, uh, or while they're there, they're going to be programming these robots to move in certain directions, and they're going to be using uh, photography. Uh, slowing down their sh their aperture shutter speed and things like that to get streaks uh, and, and uh, hopefully some cool images. Well, we've done it every year, so we've got a lot of cool images. Um, so that's just that's just an example. Um, but uh, yeah, feel free to contact me. The best option is to contact your school. Or uh, what I would I would highly recommend doing is going to ocdsb.ca/schism, and you can also use the supplementary sheet. And uh, this is a way to go cross boundary. You don't have to, you can attend this from outside of your school. Um, and the other one I would point to is, uh, if you click on programmers and locations, you can see the type of schism. Um, and it can actually say, it'll actually tell you a bit about their program. Uh, oh, I see a question. Do you, you have to attend a specific school for each program? And do you have to apply if you're not in? Oh, I see. So uh, you can apply cross boundary to uh, to other schisms. Um, the only limits that we that that we have are spots first go to the school that that are there, but the students from outside of other schools can still apply. Lots do. We have lots of cross boundary schisms taking place. Good question. In which grade can they apply to start? Very good question. I should have mentioned that. Um, grade 11 is when Chisholm can start. But uh, if you already have an idea about grade 10 or 9, I would tell your guidance counselor, I would like to take this Chisholm, and they'll start your courses right then and there to make sure you're, you're heading in that direction. Excellent question. Thanks, Gina. I'm not really sure I understand what this schism is. What does, who does it benefit? Oh, that's a great starting question. Um, I'll be showing that in a second, but uh, it benefits all students, any students um, that want to join um, in a really large variation of possibilities. <laughs> so I'll actually just get started. Um, this will be the fourth time I think I do this presentation this uh, tonight. So happy to do it. Here we are. 
Uh, so my name is Curtis Vandalite. I'm the coordinator for the Specialist High Skills Major Program here at the OCDSB. Um, it's, this is a ministry program that's across the province. Um, and, uh, but what is a schism? A schism, oh, I still have this on here, sorry. My, my fault. Um, what is a specialist high schools major? It's a students focus on a career path that matches their skills, interests, and talents while earning their uh, Ontario secondary diploma with a specialist designation. So that diploma is um, well-recognized. Um, it's it's uh, well-received at universities and colleges, Looks great on application, looks great on job application too. Uh, here's some examples of some of the variations of programs. You can see uh, that's an environmental schism. We have a culinary schism, uh, arts and culture system. They're working with uh, Deseras, uh, resident artists. And I believe that's uh, our sports schism, um, which is uh, pretty uh, heavily science-based, I believe. Oh, there we are. Uh, what is the best, what, what is the benefit of SHISM program? Uh, it's a way of meeting students' individual learning styles and interests. It allows students to customize their high school experience, allows students to focus their learning on specific sectors, and allows students to make direct, authentic connections with industry and community partners. I think it's probably best if I just show you what some of these are. Um, let's see here. Oh. Um, so that is, uh, what is it in for the student? Uh, it's a specialist designation, like I said. It's a, it's a, you can see here the, the diploma on, on the right. Uh, industry recognized certifications. So um, right away, th these are all certifications that are paid for. So we mean uh, things like WMIS, first aid, um, uh, CPR, to customer service, to uh, it, it, well, you'll see in, in a moment, you'll see how many different systems we have. Um, it's relevant uh, skill development through experiential learning with industry and community partners, so co-op. So we, uh, if you're doing schism, you're also doing a co-op. To get the diploma, you need a, uh, a co some co-op, you need an um, uh, in industry relevant co-op experience. Uh, so for example, here you can see some uh, Maryville students uh, who had a summer co-op working with the Ceres and their resident artists, um, learning how to uh, create art for uh, uh, various groups in the community. So this was for a, um, it was called a, uh, a laundry, uh, laundry group that essentially you could, uh, community members could bring their laundry to for a dollar to two dollars and they, uh, they had laundry done, giving them more time to be with their families. Um, but this is uh, one where the students got uh, certified by Speedball because of the, the which is the, um, uh, an ink company because their etchings were so excellent uh, and they they provided so much good services for the community. Uh, that's just one schism. I should stop talking about one schism. Sorry. Um, we also have sector partnership experience and uh, of course uh, your your career goals. If you already know what they are, uh, this is a great thing to do. Um, schism is well funded. Uh, it's been funded for a long time, and so sh what makes the schism special is it's. A bundle of courses, of course, but um, there's additional funding for for new technology. So for this year, for example, uh, every school that participated, that every system received an Alienware laptop, which is a high-end laptop, so they could do mobile um, computer. Not not for gaming, but for some of our students are doing um, uh, VR uh, VR design to high-end video editing. Um, and this is just a, a tool that's going to help them mobilize and, and move around more. Uh, any school that any schism program that wanted a Dremel 3D printer got as many as many as up to three if they wanted them. Uh, cricket machines, podcast equipment, green screens, micro bits and Raspberry Pis. So you can see down there uh, right here this uh, uh, this with a red wiring. This is a Raspberry Pi kit. So students are actually uh, putting together their own computers, uh, entering their own operating systems, and they're actually getting to take those home at the end. Again, all paid for by uh, by uh, by this program. And VR gear, uh, of course, it's for the, the the students who are creating VR games, but also uh, VR training. So uh, VR heights training before you get up there, it's good to know if, if you're uh, the safety for 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 heights training um, to welding. Um, there's some fantastic VR welding that's happening 
uh, in our board. Um, just to show you, it's a healthy program. It's only increasing um, in, in payment because it's a, it's a, it's a successful program with, uh, across Ontario, um, which you'll see here. Uh, students who take part in Schism have a higher uh, chance, have a higher um, completion rate, graduation rate. Um, and the, the, the rate is pretty high for actually graduating with a Schism because you can still graduate without having the Schism diploma and you still get the opportunities, you get the certifications, you get the co-op opportunities um, and, you, it's, and you get to try something before you buy it, right? You get to try it before you uh, spend all that money at college or university. Um, you know, maybe you, you, you wanna try out if, if you wanna be uh, a, a, you know, an auto mechanic first, uh, construction or something. Uh, Schism programs in the OCDSB, over 800 students are participating, and that number is just going up. 49 programs, 24 schools, 13 economic sectors. So, um, and we're adding more. Uh, we're looking at, at possibly adding three more this year. Uh, this represents a 10% footprint, uh, but I think I'll just show you this instead of uh, read through, through those stats. So what's interesting here, how many sectors we have. So we have an arts and culture, which I talked about a few times, manufacturing. I, I was at Earl of March's schism, manufacturing schism, and the things they were they were working on uh, with metal was was incredible. Horticulture, landscaping, environment, construction. Uh, you want a job right away? Construction. The, a lot of our students are getting are getting offered jobs on the spot. Health and wellness, hospitality and tourism. Uh, again, uh, some some of our students are in these the hospitality and tourism uh, who are probably uh, more bound for uh, uh, they, their, their goals and aspirations are are not in hospitality and tourism but they really like uh, the free certifications that they get um, because it helps them get jobs in 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 the hospitality and tourism industry business nonprofit sports transportation information communication technology so that's uh, we have a broadcasting program, for example, at Colonel Bai, uh, where every morning uh, students are producing a, uh, a a video for the whole for the morning announcements. Essentially, co-op opportunities at places like Rogers. Justice community safety is really interesting, especially if you're if if you have someone in, interested in um, in, in anything to do with with uh, the medical field. Um, because a lot of these, like I said, a lot of these certifications are paid for re relevant industry partnerships um, in, in, uh, in medical facilities, um, firefighting. Um, uh, what was the other recent one we had uh, visiting the school? Um, oh, uh, ambulance uh, services as well. Uh, specialist high schools majors. So it's, it's five components. It starts in grade 11. And twelve, uh, but you can always talk to your guidance counselor if you this know this is what you want in the first place, so they can line you up for that. But what is it? It's five. It's essentially five components. It's a bundle of credits relevant to what the student is doing to the program. It's experiential learning and career exploration. So field trips, guest speakers, job shadowing, work experience. Uh, again, it's all it's all paid for by being part of the Schism program. Um, activities match students' goals and interests. Um, reach ahead experiences are available. So that's uh, both college and university. We have students taking courses, getting credits for that. Uh, and that's, again, uh, at no cost to them. Uh, auditing courses, we, we also set that up. If students want to see what it's like uh, before they, they, they buy, you know. Um, a lot of interviewing of skilled tradesperson as well. Uh, certification tra training, this is a highlight of the program. Um, the relevant uh, three to four mandatory certifications, like I said, first aid, CPR, uh, to optional ones like working at Heights, customer service training, smart serve, uh, drive clean. Uh, I just saw someone put through one for uh, a boat license because they're an automotive. Why not? It's it's. I, I'm, I'm from Northern Ontario and a boat license can get you a couple of jobs, that's for sure. Um, sector partnership experience. Um, so for example, these are 
we kind of do focus on coding and math and leadership opportunities as well. But uh, the, these might be not relevant, not relevant, I should say, they're definitely relevant. They're, um, they're opportunities outside the, the their, uh, their, their specialties. So for example, I'm taking, we're, we're setting up an arts and culture schism uh, uh, coding opportunity where students are going to be coding robots uh, in uh, at a, a campsite. Uh, they're going to be coding these robots um, to do a little light show, a little movement. Um, and then at night, we're going to be taking our cameras and photographing these um, the, 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 these robots moving around uh, with certain shutter speeds and you end up with uh, cool lighting effects and things like that. So these are all, uh, you know, it's art, but it's art using coding or or sewing and lighting through through clothing. I've seen as well on some of these 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 uh, ventures. So again, my name is uh, Curtis Vandalight. Uh, feel free to contact me, but it's uh, I, I highly advise contacting your school if if uh, if you're interested in a schism. Also, going to our website ocsb.ca/slash schism. And you can also, you can, you can go cross boundary. You don't have to attend the schism at your school. Uh, and you could just, if you saw that uh, right here, schism supplementary option sheet, uh, it's just virtual. You could just fill it out digitally. Um, and the other one I wanted to show you was schism programs locations, uh, because this way you can see by clicking on the type of schism, you can see how many different types there are. Um, you know, uh, I'll go to one that's quite numerous, like uh, ICT. You can see uh, the type. Um, you know, Osgood's a brand new one, uh, and you could it'll it, it explains what they're doing in the course, to, uh, and I click a link to the website if you want. Um, I'll just see if there are any questions. Feel free to ask questions. Um, if not, uh, thank you for joining, and uh, I hope to see your kids in the uh, in a schism soon. <laughs>